So I'm Professor Melissa Little and I'm at the Murdoch Children's Research Institute in Melbourne. My cohort going through science was pretty gender balanced. Uh, plenty of women did science. There were a lot fewer women that did engineering, but plenty of women did science. But the longer I stay in this career, the fewer women there are moving up into the sort of level that I'm at now. So at a, at a professorial level, uh, it's less than 10% women. I can clearly see the periods of time where my children were young in terms of my research output. It's very difficult to remain productive and raise two children. Uh, but uh, I don't regret it at all. It is, it's very hard to be evaluated on a level playing field where I'm essentially running two jobs. Uh, and despite the fact I had great parental su um, uh, partner support, uh, you do take on the primary caregiving role for your children. It's almost built in. Uh, and so it is difficult to remain as competitive, but I think there's also a continued subconscious bias where uh, people see uh, men differently to women. And there's also a subconscious bias within women where women will not self-promote and where they will not necessarily promote each other. Uh, and I, and that, that's really sy systemic uh, everywhere I've seen in the world. Yeah, I think there's uh, men in my experience are more likely to expect to be invited and expect to be credited for what they've done, whereas uh, women are always flattered, uh, surprised, uh, and often they're more likely to turn an invitation down for personal reasons, uh, rather than a man would, would take uh, an invitation despite personal challenges. So it's quite difficult to balance an agenda uh, to have 50% female participation because it's often harder to get a woman to commit to come. I have small children, I'm pregnant, uh, my mother is ill, these types of things. And there's also just less women at that stage of, of their career because there's fewer of them the higher you go up. There's an interesting aha moment where uh, when my children were still quite young, I did a, a two-month fellowship in America as an Eisenhower Fellow, and I was very stressed about this, but my husband said he could handle the kids for two months, and in the taxi on the way to the airport, the taxi driver asked me where I was going, and I said the US, and how long for, and I said two months. And he said nothing for about 15 seconds, and then he said, do you have kids? And I said yes, and he said, well, who's going to look after them? And I thought, he never would have asked a man that, never. And it was, it was a complete judgment statement that I was really surprised about. Uh, but you do get judged and you constantly get judged about whether you're a good mother and are working at the same time. How can you be a good mother and work at the same time? It's not always seen as a, a, uh, an appropriate thing to say, but it's, it's absolutely critical that you have a partner that is willing to believe in what you want to do. And if you really want to do science, you have to be supported by a partner to allow that to happen. Uh, and I was really fortunate enough to be in that situation. Uh, and I think you also should just be brave uh, in many instances I've seen people telling me how hard it is to be a woman and I've gone, is it? I think you just have to believe you can do it uh, and just be brave.